We are only going to need five parts to make this circuit. First, we'll need a phototransistor. I got this from Radio Shack. A three volt button cell or just a cylindrical cell like I have. A transistor. I'm using a 2N4401, but you could use any simple transistor, a simple BJT, a 3904 or a 2N2222. A 1K resistor and an LED. So here we have the circuit diagram. This is the button cell. This is the phototransistor, the 1K resistor, the LED, and the basic BJT, the 2N4401. So the way this circuit works is we've got our 3 volt source. So this is plus, minus 3 volts. So we've got 3 volts at the top of the 1K and ground here. So depending on how much light is hitting the base of this phototransistor, we'll either have most of the voltage dropped across the transistor or most of the voltage dropped across the resistor. So if this is a very small voltage drop, say there's a lot of light hitting it, so it's a really low resistance, we'll have maybe 0.1 volts here. That won't be enough to turn on this transistor, so the LED won't turn off when it's light, well, it won't turn on when it's light. But if we have no light hitting the base of this, the resistance could be maybe 100K or even higher and that will result in most of the voltage being dropped across this. So we'll have about 3 volts at the base of this transistor, which is enough to completely turn it on, which will turn on our LED. So first thing we want to do is take the negative lead of the LED and connect it to the collector of the transistor. So the negative lead of the LED is always the shorter leg. So I want to take that and connect it to the collector of the transistor. And the collector, if you're facing the flat face of the transistor, the collector is on the right. So it goes emitter, base, collector. So we're going to take this negative lead, which is the shorter one, and solder directly here. Clip off the excess lead. And there you go. The next step is to take the 1K resistor and to solder it to the positive lead of the LED. So, first we'll cut off some of the excess. There we go. Now we want to solder this end of the resistor to the base of this transistor. Cut off the excess. Now we want to take the phototransistor and solder the collector to the base of this transistor. The collector is the shorter lead. and the emitter will go to the emitter of this transistor.
Again, we need to cut off the excess. So now that we have our completed circuit, we can take the emitter from these two, bend it down, and connect it to the negative side of the battery. The negative side of the battery is this smaller side. So we'll put that there, and the positive end will go to the top of the 1K resistor and the positive part of the LED, which is right here. So we just hold that in there. You can see the LED lights up. So what I did in this circuit was used an infrared phototransistor, so it responds more to infrared light. So a cool thing we can do is it thinks it's dark right now because it's not getting very much infrared light, but if we give it some infrared light, notice how it turns off, 